Welcome everyone and welcome to my Sunday edition of Floss Tube on this Monday warm evening here in Phoenix. Um, hope you guys have all had a great weekend and we'll have a great upcoming week. Um, so from the bedroom again, um, just going to keep it a, a quick short video, not too long. Um, husband wants to watch Game of Thrones. Um, I don't know, for those that have watched it, we never got onto the bandwagon right away. We're kind of we're kind of slow to it. Um, so we're still on season one and I think like episode seven, but we totally love it. Um, and for those that have seen it, they were doing a battle scene the other night um, in whichever video. And the costumes are very elaborate and just absolutely gorgeous. Well, some of the armor that some of the soldiers were wearing reminded me of the nightmare um, that I'm stitching by the Courtney collection. For some reason, like just how elaborate some of those um, helmets are in the show. But even my husband said, that kind of looks like that cross stitch pattern you're stitching. And I said, it does. Um, so I gave him points for, for thinking of that. Um, so while I have this up, I'll show you progress of mine. Um, finished page one, um, and now I'm working on two, and this is as far as I got on the second part. Um, and I love it. I really do. It's, it's a quick stitch in the sense that it's one color, and so you're not having to change thread. So I think you see... A lot of the detail a lot faster than if you were changing colors um, which is really nice because it's kind of overwhelming when you're looking at the chart um, because it's like I don't know I think it's like eight or nine pages um, not all of them are full detailed dots some of them it's just like little bottom corner with maybe you know 30 dots or something um, but it can be overwhelming getting a full page with all these dots and you're like, oh my God, I got to stitch this. And it's on 40 count. Um, but I'm just loving how I'm already one page into and I can see, see the detail already um, taking shape. So I absolutely love this. The plan was to stitch this up and then be able to submit it into the Arizona State Fair, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to get this done in time, which is fine. I'll be able to take my time and then look for, hold the camera while he's jumping on the bed. Um, be able to take my time and then um, also take my time in framing it and making sure I'm picking up the right frame and I'll just submit it next year. Um, and I'll totally kick ass with it because I know no one else will have anything like this. Um, but no, I'm excited to get it done. And my little needle minder I made. So, yeah, totally loving this. Um, I guess I'll just show you my, my work in progress while he wants to make a cameo appearance. Okay, first off, Wally maybe should have his own channel. Because people are absolutely loving him. And I'm so happy you guys love him because we love him. Um, he's such a fun dog to have. Um, dog's not for everyone. I realize that he's, he's, you know, the biggest dog, bigger than Great Dane. Um, and he's on the, um, on the run size. His dad is about 200, um, and his mom is about 175. And that's why we were attracted to him. Um, my husband and I wanted a larger dog and we said why not um and i've always liked irish wolfhounds kind of the ugly cute um and i used to work at a vet hospital and we had some come in and i just loved how mellow they were and and great with people and children um so i realized that the type of breed isn't for everyone but we absolutely love him and totally recommend and my husband and i have our uh, our dream is when we retire is to get some large property um, and just have like a big herd of them. I don't know if a group of Irish wolfhounds would be a herd, but 
maybe a gaggle of uh, Irish wolfhounds. Um, so we think that that would be that would be pretty cool. But yeah, so here's Wally. Wally, you want to say hi to your fans? Wally. Wally. You say hi to your fans? He's wagging his tail. So he's this big, yet he only will stay on that little corner of the bed. He tries not to take up that much room. So I think in all honesty, he thinks that he is like some eight pound Shih Tzu or something. I don't know. So Wally's here. Um, so another work that Wally, he totally, <laughs> he threw his paw up and totally knocked off everything. So let's fix that. And I'm not going to edit that out because I think that was just Wally's way of saying hi. Anyway. Okay. We're still recording. Good. So my next work in progress is, um, well, let me go back. I'm starting this one because I finished a work last night um, while I was watching Game of Thrones. And this is The Troubled Waters by Ink Circles. And it's all done. Love the colors, love the color combination. Um, quick stitch in the sense of that you can do one color, let's say, let's say the blue. And I do a lot of co cross country with this piece. Um, so it's like I was able to do the blue and then in the flag and then do a car. Um, the water was kind of tedious, but I kind of broke it up by doing um, the water and then the lamppost and then the fish. And um, But I absolutely love these. Um, love the fabric that I picked. Um, I'm doing the whole series, which I think there's five of them. Um, and I do not have what it is but I know I've talked about it and I'll probably say it in upcoming videos but I think it's this I think this is like 28 count but yeah love it and I know I you can see some of the I'll just show my back I don't care I'll show it um have this string going across and connecting of the airplane so I know I can see that um so I'll just definitely make sure that when I get this when I frame it up, that whatever I attach it to, if I still see it, then it's easy enough. I could just kind of clip the strings in between the airplanes um, or this long pink one. And it's like if I do, they're already knotted down with other colors, so it's not like it would, would unravel anyway. Um, but yeah, love it. So because I'm done with this one, I kit it up and I'm doing What Lies Beneath. And it's the second one in the series of the Bad Neighborhoods. And I got these all off of one, two, three. So if you guys are interested. So this one is What Lies Beneath. And they're just these crazy fun off the wall um, little stitches. So um, I don't think it has the write up. It usually has some funny little writing about it. But I love the write-up on these because it says the second in a series of bad neighborhoods designed especially for those of you who have seen enough charts of charming sweet adobes to fill the globe. Walk with me for a spell down a more sinister path and don't be poking, pocketing those arrowheads. But I love this because it kind of has like a southwest vibe to it and being here in Arizona not that my house looks like that it's more mission style but um, I love the skeleton in the front yard so yeah so I have just a little part of the and this is the only thing this color is like a peach and my fabric is more like like a sand color but for some reason it blends in but I'm hoping when I get all the other stuff in especially kind of the the dark around the house that this peach color will kind of pop a little more off of my fabric but there's just the corner 
um, of the little adobe here with the little cutouts. So yeah, that's all I have so far. My owl needle minder I made. So yeah. And if you like any of my minders, I have them up on my um, Amazon shop. Um, I sell off of um, Handmade at Amazon. Um, and so just go on to their Handmade section and type in my company, which is Sincere Stitches. Um, and I sell other things as well. I just added the minders and have been selling quite a few. Um, not sure if anyone out of any of the Facebook groups, but I have gotten um, a few sales. And so I have different ones up, not um, things you would necessarily see for minders. So um, I believe I have this owl one up, but I love it. So I've been using it, but I'll totally sell it if someone buys it. So those are up anyway. So yeah, love, love the ink circles. Um, and that is it. I'm working on the one still for my parents for Christmas, but haven't gotten a whole lot. Um, and I'm thinking maybe if I can get that done, I can enter that into the state fair as well. I got to figure out, I'm slacking, figure out when the last day to submit stuff is. I don't think that it's the door to submit anything is opened yet, but I got to look into it. Um, and then figure out how many pieces I can submit. Um, I'll definitely be doing this ink circles one. I think that that would have a good chance of getting something, um, just something different. I was at uh, the thrift store last week and I went in and I always am looking for the books. And usually the, the pattern books are of older age, obviously. Um, this one's from 93, and so I found these five and thought, okay, I'm just gonna take them. So we got Carousel Magic, and this one's actually cute. I'm not into the, all the cutesy patterns. Um, I guess more grown up stuff like you won't see me stitch like something with a with a bear or um butterflies kind of a thing i don't know that's just not my style now i've seen a ton of work um different patterns with bears and butterflies that have been absolutely gorgeous but it's definitely something that i wouldn't grab or order um and so it's kind of the same with these carousel horses um and i'm kind of loving i think it's this one i'm kind of loving this one so i don't know if i'll do it or not i kind of like i'm gonna show back i kind of like it's all in full color so that's nice um and then a baby one with all kinds of um birth samplers which is really cute or this rocking horse um there's a couple birth oh, that's wally stretching his head onto the pillow Can't talk. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. messed up my perfect placement um no i'm gonna have to hold it Okay, let's try there. But I was looking at this and I thought, this alphabet sampler looks really familiar. Where have I seen it? Okay, I'm gonna come back to the baby in a second, okay? But we're gonna talk about the sampler. Where have I seen this? Yeah, then I realized I had just seen it like 30 seconds before when I was going through all the artwork. Um, People, this was like a total steal. So I had to get it. Um, I've rescued cross stitch pieces in the past that I have found and I just have the hardest time walking away from them. And this stitching on this is like perfection. This person went pro on stitching. The back stitching, there's nothing out of place. They didn't, I mean, it's, it's absolutely 
perfect. And my kids like it, but they're a little old for it, four and five and a half, so. But I'm, I don't know. And it's padded, but I just could not walk away. I had to take it because I thought I would appreciate this. I know how much time and effort goes into a piece, and even though it's not my type, I totally appreciate it. Um, so yeah, pattern thing. Love this. Um, I'm thinking about putting it up on my shop for sale. Um, obviously I wouldn't send it to you in this frame. It's just a wooden frame. Um, and I think pieces like this, I love pieces that are not framed or not have glass on them. Um, I think it just gives it a more kind of raw feel to it and you can appreciate the stitches a lot more. Um, but I think I'm going to put this up for sale on my, um, shop through Amazon and I'll link my shop below. So if any of you guys are interested, I would obviously take it out of this frame. Um, and this is just a no kind of special sort of wooden frame and it is backed on this cardboard. So I don't know how I would want to send it. I thought about maybe just stripping it off and then just sending the thing itself because then it would just be cheaper overall and then whoever bought it could decide if they wanted to how they wanted to frame it or put it in glass. Um, but then it's like, I really don't want to take it off here and ruin it anyway. Um, but if I would send it, obviously it would have some of this, this tape residue on it. Um, but yeah, or, and I'm looking at this fabric and it kind of has a little bit of a glitter to it. I don't know if, anyway. But yeah, I'll put this up for sale. Maybe I'll put it, I'll just keep it in the frame and um, add a couple more bucks to it just for like shipping costs. Because um, everything in my store off of Amazon, I ship for free. Um, so yeah, love that though. I saw that and, and knew that you guys would totally appreciate something like that. Um, this baby, who is this baby that got asked to, hey, I want your kid to stand up in a bassinet and pose behind in this wicker stuff while he's getting off the bed with all this cross stitch. Where's that kid nowadays? That's what I, that's what I wonder. Did they like really make it big? Are they on other cross stitch books? Are they like the face of all cross stitch book patterns? I don't know, that'd be interesting. So yeah, uh, watch over me, angels. Uh, another birth, another birth sampler. Um, and I will never, I will never stitch these. Um, and so I have no problem giving them away or getting rid of them. So I'm gonna put all these ones up on my shop. Um, for like 150 bucks each. And um, so if you guys are interested, just let me know. This one has um, a couple good ones. Um, Happy Father's Day, three cheers for the red, white, and blue. I would say that this oh, special day, special people. So it's a good variety of kind of everything. And they look like they're small enough where you could make them into cards if you're one to do that. Um, here's a Mother's Day one. Or if you just like, this pumpkin one's actually not that bad. That would be cute to do up. So, um, home is where the heart is. There's a Santa one. Valentine's Day, see you soon. Happy birthday, happy Valentine's Day. So, I'll put these up in my shop, Mignana, along with the sampler. Um, 
So if you guys are interested in any of that. What else? I think that's all I have to show you. Quick video. Um, I do want to give a huge thank you and hugs to every one of you. And I would get on an airplane and come visit all of you that made such nice comments um, regarding my... Um, my post last week, I had a, uh, I put it up on Stitch Mania and I had a difficult call regarding a young, a young man who took his life and, um, it really got to me the next day. My husband knew that I was kind of in a slump and he asks me about my calls and, um, some are, sometimes I have some good calls, um, not the nature that makes them good but just some of the the individuals I run into um and then every once in a while get get some of the difficult ones and and he knew he knows that suicide is um something that that triggers something inside of me and makes it difficult and um about a year ago I was on another call and it really affected me but that had been my first um suicide call um with the fire department um, so I think it was just a lot to take in and being present with the wife and seeing her raw emotion and state to what her husband had done um, and her being present and she felt guilty. Um, and so that had that definitely shook me up for a couple of days after um, when I kind of realized what I had seen um, and I had seen it. Um, and experienced with her in the in the van um, and so I guess it just was kind of a um, a flashback to all that about a year ago with this the son and um, I think because he was young he was only 21 it was just it was just heart-wrenching because it didn't have to happen yes it was his choice um, he would have done it regardless um, of whatever intervention he had made up his mind. Um, but it was heartbreaking in the sense that this was the second son. Um, so two of the three kids that had died within the last year. And I, being a parent, I can't even imagine being in those parents' um, shoes, having to bury two kids. Um, so I just want to thank everybody for letting me kind of rant it out and kind of get everything off my chest. And, um, I think that's the great thing about this cross-stitch community online and on YouTube that we can kind of say what we need to say to help us de-stress for the day or whatever, if it's complaining about kids or husband or job, um, in-laws, whatever, that we're kind of this community that understands um, because tragedies happen every day. And um, and so I think some of you were able to, to kind of relate to what I had said, um, but I just really thank everyone that made a comment or liked it or whatever. And I guess it wasn't to add shock or to kind of bring down the tone of of the group. It was, I guess in a sense, it was to raise awareness that if anybody out there watching this um, has a friend or a family member that has made um, suicidal threats to themselves, um, even if they're nonchalant, you have to take them serious. And there are hotlines um, in every state, um, usually 24-7. I worked for, well, my internship I did through the suicide prevention hotline. And I know that that phone number is, um, st it's any state you can call, um, and they'll help you kind of connect with whatever help um, you're seeking in whatever state you live in. Um, so I urge people to, if they have anyone that's 
showing any signs or symptoms or being recluse, keep into themselves, um, or just seem down and think that they need someone to talk to. Or maybe it's a family history. Um, I have it in my family um, of suicide. Um, and I personally have, have had, have dealt with it. Um, and, and I'm okay to say that now. And I think a lot of people are ashamed to say it, that people are going to view them differently, weak or whatever. Um, but I have struggled with it and I have attempted it in the past. Um, I'm better now, obviously. Um, and, and I'm okay to say that. And, I want to say that because if I'm saying it, then maybe someone will reach out and get help from them for themselves. Um, and I really wish that that was the case. So then, um, wouldn't be on, be going on so many of these, these type of calls. Um, but it does happen and, and people can't turn their eye to it or think that, that it's not going to affect them. Um, or that my loved one would never do that or, she would never do such a thing or, um, cause you never know you're, the person is so low, um, and they're looking for that bottom of the barrel and they want to get there. Um, so don't, don't just brush it off. Take kind of everything like that serious and, and, um, don't be afraid to slide them the number or anything cause you might be saving their life in the end. Um, so yeah, so I appreciate everybody for watching. Hope you guys all have a great week and I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks.